Hi. I didn't really want to start this vlog on a downer note, but there's something pretty serious that I really want to discuss with everyone. Um, and I don't know how I can bring it up without bringing everyone, you know, to the brink of tears, uh, in a state of shock. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna come out and say it. Sharktopus. No, really, guys. Sharktopus. It's amazing. This movie, Sharktopus, it's about... It's about a shark octopus. Do I need to even say anything more? Sharktopus, guys. I see a lot of movies, and this one lived up to its promises. It was like... Half shark, half octopus? And I was like, yes, please. And it gave me a half shark, half octopus. Instead of some movies who are like, epic drama? And you're like, all right, I'd love that. And they're like, oh, too bad. You get a poorly patched together love story. Have fun. And then they leave. Go to Maui. Without you. Because they suck. Sharktopus doesn't do that. Sharktopus takes you to Maui with it. And then there's a sharktopus there. It's amazing. Shall I count it for how many times I say sharktopus? Roger Corman, at his best, man's brilliant, and he spends a very precise amount of money making just fun movies. But yeah, best thing ever. The best bit, and this is a spoiler for anybody who hasn't watched the trailer, which I will link at the end of this video. <laughs> at one point, the sharktopus climbs on a boat and roars. Sure, it was roars on a boat. I don't, with, just without fail, start to finish, amazing. If, if you like that kind of thing, don't go into it and be like, I like serious films about half sharks, half octopuses, and then watch octopus and be like, what is this? There is none of the science. Well, there's actually a little bit of science, but there is very little of the science behind this half fish, half other fish thing. I'm offended. I want my money back. Don't be that guy. Nobody likes that guy. Instead, be like, dude, shark to us. And uh, you can't go wrong. It's a lot of fun. Um, it is kind of hard to find nowadays because they did like a limited release. I had to actually get mine ordered from Indigo. They shipped it to my house. It took four days. It was actually really efficient, which was good. Thanks, Indigo. Um, yeah, and actually I mentioned it in my previous vlog that we quested for Sharktopus, and I got it. Sharktopus. Amazing. And to top it all off, Eric Roberts is in it. For those of you who aren't like, oh, I read it. Okay, breakdown. He's Julia Roberts' brother. So right off the bat, you know, there's something there. But more to the point, the three, the two movies he made leading up to Sharktopus were The Dark Knight, then The Expendables, then Sharktopus. Most controlled st dive of a career I've ever seen. And it's amazing. Like, you see him in, in uh... In the Dark Knight, and you're like, oh, yeah, he's an excellent actor. Look at him being mobbish stuff. And then he's in The Expendables, and he's like, I'm the villain. And you're like, oh, look at him, he's the villain. Love it, look, he's, he's so villainous. And should have a goatee. And then in this, he's like, I'm not the villain. What? You're the villain. No, I'm the villain. And you're like, I knew it, I knew it. You're so the villain. You look like the villain. You the art. Oh, villain. But let's not take away from the most important person of this film, the Sharktopus. I cannot get over saying Sharktopus. It's the best thing ever. Say it, just say it with me, just right now. Sharktopus. Yeah, right? You know what I'm talking about. Right there. Like over there? That's what I'm talking about. If you're sitting by yourself, look over your shoulder. What? Sharktopus. In conclusion, everybody above this high because you have to be this high to have an opinion unless you're not and then you just have one but you're a rebellious opinion and i respect that so everyone above or below this line what's your favorite movie put it in the comments 
Uh, or don't mail it to me. And uh, I'd love to know. I know personally, overall, if I can't say Sharktopus, and you can't, um, my favorite movie of all time would have to be... You know what? I'm going to finish that sentence later.